All right, so we are going to start seated on our mats today. Just nice, comfortable seat. We can have cross leg, feet out, whatever's comfortable. Let the hands rest on the knees, down by the sides, in the lap. And start to focus on the breath. Taking deep inhales in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Feeling the breath move in, filling all the spaces in the lungs, and all through the belly, down all the way to the toes. And then feeling it leave the body with each exhale. time to start to let that day go, bringing ourselves into our rooms and onto our mats, taking these next few minutes to just start to focus on that breath. a few more breaths here. We can either continue to keep those eyes closed or if you want to start to slowly open them, kind of maybe a half gaze, it's up to you. But we'll take the hands, let them rest down by the sides, and we'll inhale, bring those arms up. And as we exhale, turn those palms out, bring the arms back down. Inhale, those arms up. Exhaling down. And inhale up, exhale down, inhaling up, and exhale down. Let's do that full motion one more time. Inhale the arms up, exhaling down. We will inhale those arms up again. And as we exhale, we're gonna to start to twist the body to the left, bringing the arms down, letting them rest on the floor behind you, taking that arm resting on the knee. If it's comfortable, we can bring that gaze back over that back shoulder, or just looking at that side, whatever's comfortable on that neck. those deep breaths here, feeling the twist, warming up that spine. A couple more deep breaths here. And on that next inhale, bringing ourselves back forward, bringing those arms back up. As we exhale, dropping to that opposite side, bringing those arms down. Either bringing that gaze over that back shoulder or just facing towards that side wall, whatever's comfortable. And again, taking those deep breaths here.
And on that next inhale, bringing ourselves back forward, bringing those arms back up. As we exhale, taking that left hand, dropping it down onto the mat, just kind of tilting over that arm. If it's comfortable, you can kind of open that chest up to the ceiling, bringing the gaze up, or just kind of leaning over that side, whatever's comfortable. On that next inhale, bring that arm back up. As we exhale, dropping that right arm down, leaning over that side. Again, if it's comfortable, you can open that chest up, bringing that gaze up towards the ceiling, or just over at the side, whatever's comfortable. And on that next inhale, bring ourselves back up, bringing that arm up. And exhale, dropping those arms down, bringing them around behind you, clasping those hands behind us, and just kind of opening that chest, pushing those shoulders down, pushing those arms kind of out and down. And a few breaths here. And slowly release those shoulders, releasing those hands back forward. And we'll come up onto our hands and our knees. Lining those wrists right up under those shoulders. Knees are right under those hips. And the feet are flat on the floor behind us. We'll inhale, drop the belly down, bring the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, roll that spine in, tucking that chin into the chest. Inhale, dropping that belly down, gaze going up. Exhale, rolling that spine up, tucking that chin. Inhale, dropping that belly down. Exhale, rolling that spine. And inhale, dropping that belly down. Exhale, roll that spine. And doing it one more time. Inhale, dropping that belly down, gaze going up. And exhale, roll that spine, tuck that chin to the chest. And on that next inhale, coming to a neutral spine. And we'll take that right shoulder and just kind of lean it towards that right hip, kind of getting a little bit of a bend here. And then going to that opposite side, taking that left shoulder going to that left hip. And then coming back center. We're going to take the hand, or, <clears throat> sorry, the elbows right down where those hands were. And just kind of let that head hang between those elbows. Trying not to let those hips arch back, trying to keep them over those knees. Taking a couple breaths here. And we'll slowly start to lift that head back up, take those hands, place them right where those elbows were. We'll tuck those toes behind us and start to lift those hips up towards the sky, coming into a down dog. We'll take a second here to pedal those feet out, lifting one heel, dropping another. Maybe holding one side and then switching to that other side. 
taking your time, moving to stretch out the backs of the legs. And then let those legs come into stillness. Hold our down dog for a breath. And on the next inhale, walk those feet up to those hands. Having a little bit of a bend in those knees, we're gonna just let our upper body hang over those legs. We can take a hold of each of the elbows here, letting that head just hang. And we can slowly kind of shift side to side here. And then letting ourselves hang in the middle, releasing those hands back down, let that head hang, and do some circles. Maybe shake it yes, and then shake it no. And then letting it hang. And then take those hands, placing them on the thighs. We're slowly going to roll that spine all the way up. Stacking one vertebrae on top of the other. Bringing that head up last. Roll those shoulders down the back. Let the hands come to the side. We'll close the eyes for just a breath here. Taking a deep inhale, exhaling out. And then open those eyes back up. We'll inhale those arms up, bringing that gaze up towards the palm. Exhale, swan diving over those legs. <clears throat> we'll half flip, so slide those hands right under those knees. Exhale down. Inhale, step the feet back to a high plank or dropping onto the knees. Exhale, tucking those elbows into the body, coming all the way down onto our mats, untucking those toes. Inhale, just lift that chest up off the mat, gaze going forward. Exhale down. Inhale, we're going to push back to down dog so we can pass through all fours here, coming onto the knees and then pushing ourselves up. Taking a breath in our down dog. On the next inhale, walk the feet up to the hands. Holding over those legs. And inhale all the way to standing. Bringing those arms with us. Exhaling them down. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, swan diving over those legs. Inhale, half lift, slide your hips right in the knees. Exhale down. Inhale, step back to that high plank or dropping onto those knees. Exhale, tucking those elbows in, coming all the way down to the mat. Untuck those toes. Inhale, just lift that chest. Exhale down. Inhale, push back to that down dog. Taking that breath here. On that next inhale, walk those feet up to those hands. Folding over those legs. And inhale all the way up. Bringing those arms, exhaling down. Doing that one more time. Inhaling those arms up. Exhale, swan diving forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back to that high plank or onto those knees. 
And exhale, hugging those elbows in, coming all the way down. Untuck those toes. Inhale, lifting our chest. Exhale down. Inhale, back to down dog. We'll take a couple breaths here. Do we need time right our down dog, holding it for a little bit longer? Feel free to pedal those feet out, lifting one heel, dropping another. Now there are time to refocus on the breath if we've lost it. Feeling that breath move in and out through the body. On our next inhale, we're gonna lift our right leg. As we exhale, we're gonna sweep it forward, dropping it between the thumbs. <clears throat> so we're gonna come down onto this back left knee. So if we need a little bit of extra padding on that knee, we can kind of take the side of the mat here, roll it up and drop that knee back onto it. That kind of helps a little bit with that padding there. And then untuck those toes. Take the hand, place them on the thigh, we'll bring ourselves up. If you need to adjust it all that foot in the front, once we're now in that kneeling position, we can. So we should feel a deep stretch down that left hip. So we'll take the left arm, bringing it up, and then kind of just kind of tilt ourselves just slightly over the side. So we should feel a stretch all down that left side body, all the way down into that hip. Those deep breaths here. Hold this for just a couple breaths. And as we exhale, releasing that arm down. We're gonna push those hips back, coming up onto that back leg. So we're straightening out to that 90 degree here. And we're gonna to start to straighten that front leg, coming up onto the heel. And we can kind of slide it out a little bit if it's comfortable. I'm not getting a cramp in the hip. Inhale, bring those arms up. And as we exhale, fold over that front leg. Dropping the hands on either side of the foot. So this is where if you have blocks, if this stretches a bit much, you can take those blocks, putting them on each side of that foot, kind of coming up just a little bit. Trying to keep some length in the back so we don't want to start to fold and, and round ourselves over that leg. So we feel like we're doing that, we can step the hands back a little bit, or again, we can come up onto those blocks. And you can always have a little bit of a bend in that front knee. Taking deep breaths here, allowing those hamstrings to relax. Hold it for a couple more breaths here. Backs of the legs tend to get really tight, so we hold these poses for just a little bit longer to allow those muscles to relax. This is a good stretch to do if you sit all day, or if you're a runner, even a walker, the back of the legs tend to get pretty tight from doing those exercises. Drops of those poses to help us focus on the breath. Give us something else to think about other than I my leg is going to pull apart. A couple more breaths here. All right, we'll slowly put a bend in that front knee, kind of shift that foot forward. So we're gonna kind of move dynamically through those two poses that we just did. 
So <clears throat> we can kind of adjust that front foot so we know where we can straighten it out. So what we'll do, and I can show it before we go into it, is we'll inhale here, straighten the leg. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale, fold over that leg. And then we'll inhale, come up. So let's kind of move through that. So we'll inhale here. Exhale, we'll fold first. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bending that front knee, shifting that weight into that front foot, feeling that stretch here. Inhale, pushing those hips back, straightening that leg. Exhale, fold over that leg. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bending that knee, pushing forward. Inhale, shifting those hips back, straightening that leg. Exhale, folding over that leg. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bending that knee, pushing forward. Last one here. Inhale, shifting those hips back, coming up on that heel. Exhale, fold over that leg. And this time we'll inhale, bringing ourselves up. We can bend that front knee, kind of step that foot down. We'll take the hands, placing them on either side of that foot, or both sides of that foot. Take that back toe, kind of put the toe on the mat. We're going to pop that heel up. So we're in a nice long lunge here. Kind of walking that front foot over to the side just a little bit. So we're on those railroad tracks. So the foot, the feet aren't directly behind each other. Take the left hand, place it on the mat. If we can't get the palm down or we can have those domed fingertips just coming straight down from that shoulder. We're gonna take that right hand, start to twist open to that right side. Bringing that hand straight up towards that ceiling. breaths here. One more breath. And as we exhale, bring that right arm back down to the mat, placing the hand back on the mat. We'll step that front foot back to a down dog. Taking a couple breaths here. Again, if you need to walk those feet out, feel free to pedal those feet. On our next inhale, we're going to lift that right leg again. As we exhale, shifting that leg forward, dropping it between those thumbs. We're going to take that back foot, rotate it so it's parallel with the mat, placing that heel down on the mat. Take those hands, placing them on the thighs, bringing ourselves up. And take the hands, place them on the hips, kind of shift them over, and then put a bend in that front knee. We'll take the arms out for just a second over those legs. And then put a bend in that front elbow. And as we exhale, start to tilt ourselves over that front knee, placing that elbow onto the thigh, bringing that back arm up and overhead. And the gaze can either go up at the ceiling, down at the bottom foot, or over at the sidewall, whatever's comfortable on that neck. a couple breaths here. Good. 
you know, that next inhale, bringing ourselves back up off of that knee. We'll take those arms out, straighten that front knee. And if we need to shorten the stance a little bit here, we can. We're gonna start to kind of shift the upper body over that front leg. So we'll shift and then tilt down. So we can take the hand, place it kind of on the shin, on the ankle, relax that hand against the inside of that calf. Or if we have a block, we can place that there also. That left arm is gonna come straight up. Again, the gaze is either up at the sky, down at that front foot or over at the side wall. Couple more breaths here. And slowly putting a bend in that front leg, bringing ourselves back up to standing. We'll release the hands down. We'll, uh, let's see, we'll just rotate that front foot so it's parallel with the mat. And then you can just kind of toe heel those feet together. We're not going to be very graceful here. <clears throat> so if you guys want to face me, and if everyone wants to come to their front of their mat, I'll face you guys so you can see what I'm going to do. So we're going to go into a little bit of a balance here. So you want to find that spot that is directly in front of you, kind of down a little bit that's not moving. The hands can kind of come out to the side to kind of help you get into this balance. We're going to slowly start to lift that right leg up, bringing that knee in towards. So from here, we can stay right here. If we feel like our balance is a little challenged, just kind of getting that here. Or if we want to go more into this pose, we can bring that foot up taking a hold of it with that right arm and then stretching that leg out. Using that left hand is kind of that little bit of an anchor here to kind of help you stay balanced. We'll hold it for just a couple breaths, not too long. And then release that foot down, shake those legs out. And we'll inhale the arms up and exhale, swan diving all over those legs. And then letting ourselves hang here for just a couple breaths. Let that head hang, relaxing that neck. And then we'll take those hands, placing them on the mat, and step those feet back to a down dog. Taking a couple breaths here. Again, feel free to pedal those feet out. On that next inhale, we'll lift that left leg up. As we exhale, sweeping that leg forward, dropping it between those thumbs. So we're gonna come down onto that right knee this time. So if you wanna take that mat, kind of roll it over to pad it up, feel free. We'll untuck those back toes when we've got that pad up. Take those hands, place them on the thigh, giving ourselves a little help up. Adjusting if we need to once we get into our pose. So we shouldn't be at a 90 degree on this back leg. There should be a little bit of an angle there. So we feel a pretty good stretch in that right hip. So you're almost sinking down into those hips. So when we feel ready, we'll take that right arm, inhale, bringing it up. 
and kind of just give it a little twist over to the side so you feel that stretch all the way down that right side body going all the way down into that hip. Taking those breaths here. And as we exhale, slowly release that hand down. Start to shift those hips back. So we're coming into that 90 degree on this back leg, straightening that front knee, coming up onto the heel, kind of shifting it forward just a bit. Inhale, bring those arms up. And as we exhale, coming straight over that front leg, dropping those hands down on either side of that leg. And trying to keep a little bit of that length in the back. So if we feel that we start to fold over the leg, either shifting a little bit out of it or using those blocks. Taking those breaths here to allow all that leg to loosen up. Breath into the back of the leg. And using these poses that we hold for a little bit to refocus on the breath. One more breath here. And then slowly put that bend in that knee. Kind of bring that foot back a little bit, coming back up onto that back knee. So we're going to move back and forth between those two poses here. So again, adjusting that foot so we know where we can kind of shift between both of those poses. So we'll, let's see, inhale, start to shift those hips back. Exhale, fold over that leg. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, bending that knee, shifting ourselves forward. Inhale, shifting those hips back, straightening that leg. Exhale, folding over that front leg. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bending that knee, shifting forward. Inhale, shift those hips back. Exhale, coming over that leg. I think this is our last one. Inhale, coming back up. Bending that knee, shifting those hips forward. And then we can shift a little bit back into that back leg, take those hands, place them onto the mat on either side of that foot. Tuck those toes back behind us if we can, popping that knee up off the mat, unrolling that side if we roll that mat up. And then taking that left foot, kind of walking it so those feet are on those railroad tracks, not directly behind each other. Taking that right arm, placing it right down on the mat, right under that shoulder, and starting to twist the body towards that bent leg, bringing that left arm up. Taking those deep breaths here. More breaths. 
And then exhale, bring that left arm down, back onto the mat. And we'll take that front foot, stepping it back to a down dog. Again, if you need to pedal those feet out or shake that left leg out, feel free. Take a couple deep breaths here. Using this time to catch that breath. Or to refocus on it. On the next inhale, we'll lift that left foot up again. As we exhale, shifting it forward, dropping it between those thumbs. Taking that back foot, rotating so it's parallel with that mat. We'll take those hands, placing them on that thigh, giving ourselves that little adjustment. Stretch. Take those hands, place them on the hips, kind of shift those hips over to that side, and then put that bend back in that front knee. We'll take those arms out, hovering over those legs, placing that bend in that front elbow, and as we exhale, shifting forward over that front leg, dropping that knee, bringing that right arm up and kind of overhead at an angle, Again, the gaze is up at the ceiling, down at that foot, or at the side wall. Taking those deep breaths here. And on the next inhale, bringing ourselves back up, placing those arms back out, straightening that front leg. And we'll kind of, again, shift that upper body over that leg and then tilt downwards. So that hand can go on that shin, kind of bounced up against the calf, all the way down to the ankle. If we have a block, we can hold it right on that block. And the gaze again is either up at the ceiling, down at the foot, or over at the side wall. Taking those deep breaths here. And then we'll slowly put a bend in that front knee, bringing ourselves back up, release those arms down. We'll take that front foot, kind of rotate it so it's parallel with the mat, and then kind of toe heel those feet in. So we'll do our balance on the opposite side. So again, finding that spot on the floor that's not moving, taking those arms, kind of just Placing them wherever is going to give you the balance. We'll start bringing that left leg up, lifting that knee up to the chest. Again, we can stay right here. That balance is a little challenged today. Maybe one side's a little bit different, and that's completely normal. If we feel like we want to go a little bit more into this pose, we'll bring that knee up. Taking that hand, left hand, attaching that inside of that foot, and kicking that leg out. Using that right arm to kind of be our little anchor for our balance. And only holding this for a couple breaths. And then releasing that leg down. Release those hands, shake those legs out. Come back to the top of our mats if we're not there. 
Inhale the arms up. And exhale, swan dive over those legs. Letting ourselves hang here. We'll take a hold of those elbows again. Letting that head hang, letting that back hang. Just releasing any tension we're holding in that upper back or that neck. If we want to sway side to side, we can sway side to side here. And we'll come back center, releasing those hands down, placing those hands onto the mat. And then we'll step back to a down dog. <clears throat> Take a second to notice in this last down dog that we have this evening to feel the difference in the legs from where we were when we started our practice. Maybe they're a little bit looser. Maybe those heels are a little bit closer to the mat. Maybe a little fatigued. And then slowly come down onto those knees. And make our way to a seated position on our mat. We'll take the feet, just taking them straight out in front of us. Kind of rocking side to side. So we're up on those sit bones. When we feel comfortable, inhale those arms up. And as we exhale, start to fold over those legs, letting the arms come down. Trying to keep the length in that upper back so we feel that that back starts to round. Just kind of coming at back just a little bit. Breathing into the backs of the legs. Also feeling the stretch in our lower back. And then taking those hands, placing them on each side of the leg and slowly walking ourselves back up. Then we'll take the feet, placing the feet together, bringing them in towards the hips. Again, kind of rocking side to side so we're up on those sit bones. Taking an inhale while we're sitting here. As we exhale, fold that upper body over those legs. Again, trying to keep the length in that upper back. So if you feel that you start to round forward, just come up just a little bit. Letting the legs and the knees fall down to the ground, just at their own pace. And then take those hands, placing them on the mat, giving ourselves that little help up. Take the hands, place them under the knees, helping those knees back up center. We'll take the feet, placing them wide on the mat. Take the hands, place them behind you, however is comfortable with the hands if it's facing out, facing in, to the side. And then just let the knees fall from side to side. 
maybe holding one side a little bit longer, whatever's comfortable. And the next time we get to our right side, we'll let those legs fall all the way down, twisting ourselves up, bringing that left hand around and sweeping it behind us, almost like we're going to shake someone's hand that's directly behind us. And then slowly sweeping that left hand back forward, letting it come back down behind us. And we'll let those legs drop from side to side again. And then the next time we get to that left side, let those legs come all the way down, bringing that right arm up, sweeping it around, shaking that hand behind us. And then sweeping that arm back, forward, placing it back on the mat, going one more time, letting those legs drop to both sides. And then bringing those legs up, walking those feet center, and then making our way all the way down onto our mats. We'll bring those knees into the chest, take a hold of the legs and just rock side to side here. And then release those legs down onto the mat, bringing the legs all the way down. We'll take the hands, clasp them behind the head, and then rest the head back down on. So those hands are kind of creating a little pillow behind you, letting the elbows rest down. And then we'll kind of walk the head and the shoulders, all the whole upper back over to the left side. So we're kind of at a a little bit of a bend here. And then if you want to add the feet, we'll take the left foot, shift it over to that left side of the mat also. And then take that right leg and also shift it to that left leg. You can place the feet right next to each other or take that right leg and kind of drape it over the top of that left leg. So we're kind of in the shape of a Banana, I guess would be. So we should feel a stretch all down that right side body here. Taking those deep breaths here. Sending it all down the side of that body into all the spaces between the ribs. And if you have that right foot draped over that left, we'll uncross those feet. Slowly shift that right foot back center, follow it by that left foot. And then last, we'll shift that head, neck, and shoulders back to the center of the mat. And then we'll move to that other side. So we'll take that head, neck, shoulders, bring it over to the right side of the mat. So we're in that half banana. And then we'll take that right leg, shift it over to that right side. Follow it by that left leg. Again, we can add a little bit more and take that left leg, draping it over that right leg.
Feeling that whole stretch down that entire left side of the body now. And we'll slowly take that left foot off of that right foot, bring that foot back center, follow it by that right foot, and then slowly shift that head, neck, shoulders back to the center of the mat. We'll lift that head up, unclasp those hands, we'll let those arms kind of come out to the side like a T. Take the feet, place them onto the mat. We'll take the legs, kind of glue them together, and then just kind of lift the knees just straight up. So the knees are facing right up to that ceiling. And then just kind of do some little circles with those knees, almost like we're drawing circles on the ceiling with just our knees. Going whatever direction is comfortable, but staying in that same direction. Getting a little bit of a massage on that lower back, on that sacrum area. And then shift that direction of those circles. Going as fast or as slow as is comfortable to you. And then we'll take the feet, placing them back down onto the mat. Place those legs down onto the mat. Take those arms up overhead. And doing one final stretch. Stretch those arms all the way up. Stretch those legs all the way down. Almost like we're just getting up in the morning. Full body stretch. And then release it all onto the mat. Let those legs fall to wherever is comfortable. Bring those arms down by the sides. Start to close the eyes. Refocusing on that breath. Letting ourselves sink deeper and deeper into our mats with each exhale. Clearing the mind of any thoughts we might have. Releasing any tensions we might be holding. Watching them leave with each exhale. You find that your mind starts to wander. If you start to have thoughts coming back in, just start to focus on the breath. Taking these next few minutes to not have to think about anything, not have to worry about anything. Just be with yourself here on your mat.
slowly start to bring a little life back into your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Rock your head from side to side. When you feel ready, slowly place one foot on the mat and follow it by the other foot. Slowly bring one knee into the chest, followed by the other, grabbing hold of the legs and rocking side to side. When you feel ready, roll onto your right side. With your right side grounded by the earth, leaving your left side open to the sun, the moon, and the stars, and all the gifts the universe has to offer you today. When you feel ready, commit to a comfortable seated position. We'll take the hands, place them right in front of the heart, close the eyes one last time. Take a deep inhale. Exhaling it all out. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this evening. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow.